Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel, Bales 1986 SW. Um, today is all about what I pack in my children's flight bag. So this is to try and keep them, fingers crossed, entertained. So we are lucky enough and fortunate enough to be going to my auntie and uncle's villa in Toulouse. Um, and we cannot wait. We'll be going for a week and the um, aeroplane journey is about just over two hours. So um, we're not bringing any, what's it called? hold luggage we're just taking hand luggage um with us so these are the children's flight bags um so let's just get straight into it so i just want to say before i get comments about anything is i don't favor my little boy over my little girl and because my little girl has has got more stuff in her bag than my little boy and that is for two reasons really the first reason is my little girl is a lot younger than my boy. Well, I say a lot younger, there's two years. And she likes to be entertained a lot. She likes different things to keep her entertained. However, my little boy, who is nine, is absolutely besotted by planes. He'll be taking me, he'll be telling me which altitude we're flying at, how how fast we're flying at, um, what he can see um, down below when he's sat next to the window seat. So he'll be more than happy just that he's on a plane going somewhere. He'll be mostly disappointed when we actually arrive at our destination than anything. So let's get on with it. Now, the, the thing with these bags as well is my children do not know what is actually inside of these. They have um, flown before um, and they know that we have a holiday fairy. A holiday fairy comes, sprinkles some extra little bit of magic and brings them a few gifts inside. They know that I buy the majority of it but there is a few little gifts which the holiday fairy um, buys. It's just a little bit of magic which we always have brought to them and it's just worked a treat because my little girl is not the best flyer so when she knows the holiday fair is coming it just gives a little bit more excitement and she she thinks less about the plane ride and more excitement of what's going to be in the actual flight bag so i'll start off with my little boy so they have the same kind of flight bags this is from um toys for a pound.com it was between a pound or two pound it has a little bit of a handle it has a handle here where you can hold it and it also has wheels as well um, and what's brilliant about this kind of bag is you can place it like that when you're on the airplane and fold down the side and everything is inside there's no rooting or anything like that so first thing I got is um, from Ho Baggies this was 89p and it's a match tax book my little boy is obsessed with football so this will keep him nicely occupied occupied yes keep him entertained um, it's got puzzles it's got stickers it's got quizzes he'll absolutely love it so he's got that um, they're obsessed with squishes at the moment so I picked this up this is from toys for a pound for a pound um, it's an ice cream keyring so once he's opened it he can actually um, put it onto his bag then he has a blind bag which is a toy story one I think this was from toys for a pound or poundland then this is from Home Bargains, I think it was 99p or 89p, something like that. It's a Minions and you get like mega blocks inside, you get 37 pieces and it builds this um, when it's finished. So I think that'll keep him entertained. Also, I just want to say as well, this is not just the flight, this is for things when we actually get to uh, my auntie and uncle's villa. It's things that will keep him occupied when we're there if they're not interested in going into the pool. Then... He loves the um, Dizzy Crossy Roads app um, and you can actually buy the blind boxes to go with it. So he has two to open um, when we're on the plane or when we get there, whatever he chooses to do. So he has two of them. They were from the pound shop. If you if you go to the pound shop, they are a pound. If you're buying them from like Asda or the local supermarkets, you're looking about £2.50 up, upwards. Then I got these... Um, these were two for a pound, so my, other girl, my little girl's got the other set. So forget that it's Jake and the Neverland Pirates. This is the donkey game. Max loves that game. And you can play pairs as well. So I've got them. Then they have um, lollipops. 
I bought a big bar bag of um, unicorn lollipops from the pound shop. My little boy will not be bothered that they've got unicorns because once you take the wrapper off, it's just a plain lolly. Um, so I've split them between them. These were brilliant for the ears and also it's just a really nice treat for them on the plane and they're not messy. I don't recommend bringing chocolate because it melts, it gets all messy. So lollipops or something like that, or boiled sweets, if they're older children, are just amazing, or hobos. Um, but we just stick with lollipops, so that's their little treat. Then the holiday fairy brings them one big holiday like present to keep them occupied on the plane and also when we get to our destination. So um, my little boy has got, I'm just putting bits inside, has this so this is a bag of Lego um yeah so I'll pop that in two sec so Lego you can buy um boxes a little bit um they're like medium sized boxes and they have red bricks they have yellow bricks they have green blue orange they have different kind of books and all those books are those colours and I got these when they were three for two in one of the supermarkets and I cannot remember which one um so he's got the green, the blue, and the yellow. And you get the pieces like this. You come in a box. I've discarded the box. I don't need the box. I've got the pieces here. And it comes with a booklet. I've picked up the wrong booklet. This is going brilliant, this. It comes with a booklet. So this is the green, and this is the green booklet. And you, you make, in out of this, three small Lego um, builds. But what's brilliant about this is you can interconnect the green with just the blue, with the blue or blue with the yellow or green with the orange, whatever, and then make bigger bigger um, buildings as well. So you can really merge the three colours and make different um, like little builds with them. He absolutely loves Lego, and this will be amazing for him. So he's got. Lego and then what I do is I discard the boxes, I don't need the boxes, put the leaflets and the instructions inside with the Lego and once he's made it and everything like it, he can come back into this bag and it's all together so we don't lose any pieces. My favourite bags, like, like sandwich bags, are from Ikea. I think they're just incredible so that's all there. And that's everything my little boy got for the plane and also, also to keep him occupied when we get there. So my little girls, exactly the same bag, they, um, it ha they have the name on top here so they know the difference and here we go. Now like I said my little girl is not the best flyer and when we were going on our first holiday to New York for a wedding, um, we I decided that I needed to make this really fun because my little girl gets really anxious about things which she's never done before. Um, so we introduced this little guy, now this is what the holiday fairy brought for um, Grace and we named him Hudson because obviously we're going to New York, it's our first holiday, yeah Hudson, Hudson mother, you, you will get it. So this is Hudson, Hudson has some like, it's really beanie, um, really beanie inside so what she does is she knows that the holiday fairy made her a letter and she can rub um, his belly or his back and all her worries and anxiety and everything like that goes in to Hudson and they go away and then she feels so much better. So Hudson will be coming with us. Um, I got this from Amazon if you are interested and it's worked a treat since. We've been lucky enough and fortunate enough to be go on several plane rides after that and um, Hudson has worked a treat. Uh, my little boy did have one but he's not. he doesn't need it anymore so but Hudson definitely comes with Grace. Then she has a DC um, pencil case, and then I think this was from Pound Shop. And then inside she has some DC colours um, and her favourite unicorn pen. Um, and then I will then soon um, get her twisty um, crayons, what she gets from Crayola, um, and put them in there. We do not take felt tips just in case. You, you just never know. So you always bring crayons, so I've got to add them to here. So that's that. Then she ha loves, absolutely loves Zum Zums. So she has some Zum Zums to open. She has Peter Pan and you get a, like a blind one there, which you don't know what you're getting. Hat Mad Hatter and once again a surprise one. She'll love those. 
she has a squishy which is a pineapple and um, once again it's a keyring so I should be able to put it on a bag so it's a lot easier for me to identify the bag instead of looking for the name on the top um, then she has um, a Cinderella blind bag you get a toy a pencil and a puzzle inside I think this was from toys for a pound.com then this is from the local is it home bargains I think no home bargains from home bargains this is top trump she's just really getting into top trumps and um, so this is Gruffalo she loves Gruffalo and it comes with a pencil and a little bit of a notepad so you can keep the score who's winning but then from toys for a pound.com she has a DC uh, minifigure so she'll love um, playing with that and using the imagination and um, then I got these it's a frozen and an aerial um, fruity tickles. These are from the pound shop, I want to say three for a pound or something like that. Um, you get a sticker and a little bit of a toy and then some sweeties inside. She won't eat the sweets, it's just because it's a blind, like a blind box. She'll love opening it and seeing what she can find inside. Then that is the other one to go with my little boys. Um, this is Dominoes and Snap that you can play. And what we love about these is they're not full size cards, so you can really play um, Snap on the plane. Um, and then when we get to my uncle and auntie's, um, Grace loves the pool, but she doesn't spend a lot of time in there. So we can play in the shade and we can play Dominoes, which is one of her favourite games. So I've got them. Then my little girl loves um, an app on the iPad called Sandbox. It's basically mosaics and you match the number to the colour and you colour it in. So I got a, um, a travel mosaic kind of book. Exactly the same concept. Um, you get an, an animal which you need to find the mosaics at the back and stick them on. Um, she will absolutely love this. So I've got a travel one. That was from Amazon. Um, this is she's already had this she she's I've just took it out of her like little craft box um, but she hasn't filled it up and she really really likes some zums so we thought we could um, do some more puzzles inside then she has another um, sticker and puzzle book my little girl I just want to say is an absolute massive bookworm so that's why she's got a lot more books and um, you have lots of different puzzles to do scenes and you have stickers and quizzes everything a seven-year-old needs to keep occupied then she has two Osborne books and um, a little children's puzzle pad I love Osborne's books they are so bright and colorful really appropriate age appropriate puzzles inside for her and uh, then it was buy one get one half price from Waterstone so I picked this up it's a sticker dolly dressing unicorn book um, we have scenes and you use stickers to uh, make the scene so I got those as well then the last um, present is from the holiday fairy and these are these um my children watch nickel is it nick kids nickelodeon kids in the morning and those lovely little adverts what get the kids to like everything um she's been seeing these and she's been obsessed with them saying i'd like these on my christmas list or you know yes we are thinking about christmas already so basically you get a little animal like this and I'm, I can't open it, this one is opened already um, and then once you unravel, unravel it, it makes a necklace, a bracelet, a keychain, different varieties of nooses and then it comes with a blind one which you don't know what you're getting but I've took all the packaging off and I've left this piece of board here so she can have a look and she'll know that this is a super red one so she's been very very impressed that she's been lucky enough to get a blind one um a rare one and once again i've used the ikea bags so once she's finished um getting all this out we don't really need this it's just to show her uh which one she's got and use this as a little rubbish bag so it's just easy to keep everything in and that is everything off and she has got some unicorn lollies to keep her for her ears as well. And that is everything my children will be bringing on the plane to keep them occupied on the plane, fingers crossed, and also little treats and things like that when we get to our destination. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned, and no, I have not forgot it, my children do not bring iPads or any electronical equipment when we go on holidays. We make a conscious decision as a family not, just not to do it. We want to live in that moment and enjoy it. We as parents try and restrict as much as possible on our social media as well um, and really enjoy being as a family and enjoying family time basically. We will use, I'll use my phone to video and 
um, record memories, um, but we keep off social media as well, um, so we don't bring the iPads for the children. Um, so yes, so I hope this has helped because I absolutely love watching these kind of videos personally. So take care, send you positive thoughts. Rachel, bye.